On October 22, 2021, actor Peter Scolari passed away from cancer at the age of 66. He was best known for his roles on the shows Bosom Buddies and Newhart, which saw him starring alongside stars like Bob Newhart and Tom Hanks. In later years, the actor continued working diligently on TV and on Broadway until his recent death. Join Facts First as we pay our respects to Peter Scolari, star of Bosom Buddies and Newhart. Peter Scolari rose to fame acting on the short-lived cult classic sitcom Bosom Buddies, which aired on ABC during the 80s. Alongside Peter, the show featured Tom Hanks in an early role. Both actors went on to careers after the show's early cancellation, but Tom certainly ended up being the bigger star of the two. Despite this, Peter remained a respected character actor in the industry up until his recent death on October 22, 2021. Two years before his death, the actor had been diagnosed with cancer. He struggled with the disease for the remaining two years of his life. His manager, Ellen Lubin, made his death public, and many of his friends and co-workers came out to pay their respects for the beloved character actor. In more recent years, Peter had become known for his supporting turn on the premium cable series Girls, which netted the actor an Emmy in 2016. He played Tad Horvath, father of the lead character Hannah, played by Lena Dunham. Lena was one of the many celebrities who came out after the announcement of Peter's death to pay their respects. Although his 2016 win for his supporting role on Girls was the first time he'd ever won an Emmy, he'd previously been nominated multiple times. After Bosom Buddies ended, he was given an even more successful role on Bob Newhart's sitcom Newhart. He played Michael Harris and was nominated for his performance three separate times. Bob Newhart was another one of the celebrities who came out to pay their respects for Peter after his passing, expressing how important the actor's comedic performance had been to the overall success of the show. Despite the fact that Peter Scolari had been diagnosed with cancer for two years, he was still active through the battle and had recently completed work on the second season of the show Evil. In the series, Peter played the character of Bishop Thomas Marks. After the announcement of Peter's death, the team behind the series expressed how much Peter had added to the show, saying subsequent seasons wouldn't be the same without his professionalism. Besides being a star on television, Peter was also a star on Broadway. He had appeared in notable roles, including reuniting with Tom Hanks in 2013 for the production Lucky Guy. Other Broadway shows included Wicked and Hairspray. Still, many people associate Peter most closely with his role on Bosom Buddies. Although it only lasted for two seasons, it's become a cult classic due to both the increased status of star Tom Hanks as well as the show's novel and bizarre premise. The show followed two friends and co-workers at an advertising agency who decided to pose as women to live at a women-only residence that was cheaper than a normal apartment building. The women-only residence was known as the Susan B. Anthony Hotel, and the two male friends successfully conned their way into being able to stay there. Once there, they would switch genders freely by saying their brothers were visiting, and they used their male visages to flirt with the women in the building. Of course, hilarious hijinks ensued for two seasons, and a good deal of romance. On the show, Tom's character was sarcastic, while Peter's character was sweet. This proved ironic as Tom was the one who would go on to become the charming and innocent leading man. And the two remained great friends. In addition to reuniting in 2013 for the aforementioned Broadway production Lucky Guy, Tom also made room for Peter to make a cameo in his directorial debut, That Thing You Do. Although Peter Scolari didn't go on to achieve leading man status like Tom Hanks, he still achieved a good deal of success in his own right as a character actor after the cancellation of Bosom Buddies. In more recent years, he could be seen on Fox's hit show Gotham, following the character of Batman in his early years. Peter also had a memorable turn as Peter Madoff in the made-for-television HBO movie Madoff. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Although Peter Scolari's Emmy Award victory for his supporting turn on Girls was technically a fluke, it ended up being a defining moment in the unsung character actor's decades-long career. The actor wasn't initially nominated, but one of the original nominees ended up not being actually qualified. Because of this, Peter found himself on the ballot, and he took home the award. While Peter technically won for his performance in Girls, it was hard not to look at the victory as a token for all he had given the entertainment industry over the years. It was especially sweet for Peter, given the fact that he'd been nominated for several Emmys previously, but hadn't won. 
The win gave Peter validation for all his hard work in the industry, and it was only five years later he passed away. Lena Dunham has a great appreciation for all Peter Scolari brought to girls as her on-screen father. The actress's words of respect for Peter after his passing were among the most eloquent that were expressed by the late character actor's peers. She expressed she couldn't have asked for a better father figure on her show. Sentiments of respect were also heard from stars like Harvey Firestein, Michael McKeon, and Jackie Hoffman. Harvey Firestein had appeared alongside Peter on Broadway in the musical Hairspray and shared he'd never met a sweeter man. Michael McKeon also worked with Peter on the stage, appearing alongside him in the off-Broadway play The True. Michael expressed he knew Peter was ill, but that knowledge didn't make it any easier for him to accept his beloved friend's death. Jackie Hoffman had appeared alongside Peter in a variety of formats, on screen and off. Besides appearing alongside Peter in an episode of Girls, he also appeared alongside him on stage. He paid his respects to Peter with a bit of humor, saying he hoped his old friends could continue getting gigs up in heaven. Peter Scolari was born September 21, 1955 in New York. His father was abusive towards the young boy, and his mother was an alcoholic. The two fought often, but stayed together for their children. Peter got his first big acting gig in 1980, appearing on the sitcom Good Time Girls. Though the sitcom was short-lived, it gave Peter a good foothold in the industry, and bigger roles followed. It was after his turn on Bosom Buddies that he was given his successful role on Newhart. After Newhart ended, Peter took on starring roles in two separate failed series, Dweebs and Family Album. Nothing really stuck for the actor despite his recurring work in the industry. In the late 90s, Peter was given a cozy gig portraying the character Rick Moranis had popularized in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on the film's spin-off series. He played the role for three years and went on to have consistent work on television into the new millennium. Besides being on Girls, he could also be seen on Fox's Gotham. On the show, he played Gillian B. Loeb, who was a corrupt police commissioner working in the titular Gotham City. When it came to his personal life, Peter was married four times. His first wife was Lisa Kretschmar, whom he married in 1981 and divorced in 83. He then married Deborah Stiegel, and the two were together for a decade. In 1993, Peter married actress Kathy Treen, and they divorced in 2004. Finally, after a long period of dating, Peter married his fourth and final wife in 2013. Her name was Tracy, and Peter was still married to her at the time of his death. Peter also had four children, Callie, Keaton, Joseph, and Nicholas. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share what your favorite role of Peter's is. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.